Okay, is Garth. <clears throat> and after that sort of fail video <clears throat> with the Windows Semi on the iMac, the hard drive failed, and that was pretty sad, so filming a new video now. And this doesn't even have a hard drive, so we're safe along those lines. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at this little Polaroid camera I got at a local thrift store. Let's get out its little carrying case here. It's a Polaroid PDC 3070. It's a 3.2 megapixel camera, and it could also be used as a webcam. On the side here, you have your microphone and a little door for your SD card. Note, the SD card can only be 128 megabytes or smaller, or the camera won't even attempt to read it. <coughs> but, it has a 1.5 inch display and a USB port here to get the files off of its internal memory. You can add the SD card to expand its storage. It has an internal storage of 8 megabytes. <coughs> It features a crafted aluminum panel here for the LCD bezel and an optical viewfinder. And even though it has a screen. And then you have your buttons here. So let's put some batteries in it and start it up. There's a little door on here. And I can't do this one-handed, so I'm going to put the batteries in and then get back. And we are back. As you can see, this, bat this camera requires four AAA batteries to be inserted here. Now that we have the batteries in, we can actually turn the camera on. And now you can see my table out of frame. Now we take a picture. There we go. And then you can flick the switch to view the picture again and then use these pic buttons to navigate and yeah, there's the picture that I took earlier and you can press the menu button and have erase format protect I think I'll erase this so I'll click that again and you can either erase this or all of it. Go down and select this. And then you could go back to <coughs> camera mode by flicking the switch back. If you press the menu button while in main camera mode, you could bring up capture mode and image sizing, where you can, I mean setting, where you can select exposure and stuff. You use the up and down buttons to navigate. Let's just see here. Image size. We can change that. We have a delicious selection of 800 by 600, 1280 by 960, 1600 by 1200, and 200. And 2048 by 1536. But remember, the bigger you make the photo, the more space that'll take up. I have it set on the lowest quality setting. You can press the top here. This button toggles the flash on and off. And this is the memory access button. And this button can put between one star and two star. That basically means the quality of the photo. 
And if you go into here and go into capture mode, you can see that this can actually capture video. Why don't we try that? I'm going to cut to this camera filming my regular camera. So, I'm going to go down the video and just try it out. Okay, we are now recording video with the Polaroid PC3070. Since the, all we have is the 8 megabytes of internal memory, it gets filled up pretty fast filming video on it. I would rather just take low quality photos. I think 25 seconds is our peak of filming, so bye. Back to this camera. Yay. My mistake. We still have like another... 25 seconds of video. Now we look at something that I got by George today. It's Intel CPU heatsink. It's going to go into the computer I'm building. And while we film the other camera that I picked up here at Kodak Easy Share, that'll be in another video though. <laughs> What else can I film? Eh. Okay, I think that's kind of this. So, back to our camera. Yay. Come on. Get on. Let's turn on my main camera. Okay, well, bye. Okay, so after recording about a minute and 30 seconds so video, we can only take about 13 low-res pictures. I have it set on the lowest quality setting known to man. So, we need to dump all the files from the camera's internal memory onto my laptop. So why don't we do that? Okay, I got my iBook G4 out. To assist me in getting the files off, because if we look again, that's a full-size USB port. Since I was sort of not really wanting to or something online so quick. I made this like USB to USB cable. This end plugs into my computer and then this end plugs into the camera. To get the files off of it you have to first turn the camera on Then switch it to library mode. And then after that, you this is really hard to do one handed. After that, you put the cable in here. And it beeps. And if you can read it, it says MSDC. And in a few seconds. The camera appears on my desktop. There's like really no special software required. I'm gonna make a new folder and dump all this stuff into it. And let's see here, what can we tell this? Uh, digital camera. That seems like an appropriate title. Now let's open it up. DCM 100 Media. And then just copy all the photos I want off. I'm going to copy over some of the ones that I took before I'd start filming the video. Okay. And then I'm just going to drag and drop in here. It shouldn't take that long to copy. It's only like 3 megs of data. I 
an interesting fun fact. You could actually use this as a webcam. If you flip the switch, it'll say PC webcam on the display, and and your like Windows computer will recognize it as a as a actual webcam. I guess that's sort of a feature that they added. And then here's our two videos, which we just filmed, and I will copy those to desktop. When it records video, it films in the AVI format. Okay, those are all copied over. Now I gotta go into Disk Utility and format the drive to free up the space. If we look in the sidebar here, it'll say 8 megabyte Polaroid digital camera media, but we want to click on the one below it. And then we go to Erase and format an MS-DOS FAT 16 and erase. Okay, we're all good. We can now drag it to the garbage bin and eject it. And those files on the desktop, those are actually files from a previous video with the iMac. And now we can safely remove the USB cable, and the camera just goes in the standby until we turn it on again. Okay, now that we're done with the laptop for now, Why don't we go around and film some more videos on it? So let's put in the video mode again. Oh, I might as well show you some still shots. Well, I'm. <clears throat> no, I think I'll add that in the voiceover thing. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll show you some still shots. And interesting thing, this can also record audio, so I could use this for the voiceover for this video. <laughs> so why don't we film some more video with this? Got eight megs of space to fill up. Best way to do it is with filming low quality grainy video. <laughs> Maybe I should go out and film some Bigfoots <laughs> with, with my uh, low quality grainy camera. <laughs> uh, okay, let's turn off our better camera and film with this one for a bit. Okay, with this camera, the 8 megabytes of internal storage gets filled up insanely fast when filming video. So. Let's copy over the files, erase, film, and repeat until this video is done. <laughs> okay, and we are recording again. We, I got some things that we can film here, like this pack of generic AA batteries. Or this old CPU heat sink, or the Polaroid PDC 3070 zone carrying case, and this light bulb, which I will put back into its box before I break it. And we could film the dodgy USB cable that I made. Sorry about the pretty obvious jump cut. <sighs> and now, uh, some random copper wiring, and I have a battery, 
and just some random stuff. And we go somewhere else in the house and film around there. Since the photo detection diode in this thing isn't so good, you have to have a lot of light in your shots for them to show up real good. Eh, on display, this looks pretty horrible. I'm pretty sure it does for you, too. Let's see here. We have radio stuff. I zoom out. I, can, I can't zoom out or in. I can... Uh, oh! I'm making some hydrogen. <coughs> little experiment I'm trying. I got this 12 volt power supply here, and it's been doing pretty good. I've been running it since 5. Some cola. Hmm. Not much else to film. Eh. CB radio. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it. I wonder if I could actually film a YouTube video just using this thing. <laughs> Not, I'm going to do it. <laughs> that would be so funny. It'll be the next video after this video. Oh, can we film a... There's my Cat Sunshine food and stuff. It looks barely seeable on the display. Well, bye. Okay, this voiceover is being filmed with the camera, the Polaroid <coughs> PCD <coughs> 3070. The first photo we have here is in 800 by 600. The second photo is in the 1280 by 960 mode. The third photo is in the 1600 by 1200 mode. And the fourth photo is in the 20, in, is in the 2048 by 1536 mode. Up to this point, I haven't really had like a standalone audio recorder. I guess this isn't, but it works. <laughs> it records in uh, WAV format, and I'm okay with that. And now let's look at some other photos around here. We have a picture of my sunshine, my cat sunshine food bowls and stuff. And we have a picture of my CB radio. The rest of these are going to be shot in 800 by 600 mode. And here's just a test picture of, uh, of that heat sink. And then another one of the camera. Well, the other camera. <laughs> and Another test picture of a and ball of, ball of cola. So now let's get back to our main camera. And yeah. Overall, the Polaroid the Polaroid PDC 37 is a good camera if you're just getting into photography. And I like it a lot. On here, you have that sticker boasting about all the stuff that I can do. And then have your main controls here. And and it's a really good camera in general if you're just getting into taking pictures and stuff it would probably be a good starter camera for like a young kid the controls are fairly easy to learn and you're not going to be breaking the bank on this one <laughs> I got it for like three dollars at a local thrift store so 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, and have a good day. In the next video, we are going to be talking about this camera. The Kodak Easy Share C300. And we are going to be filming that entirely with this camera. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so, as I said before, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya till... See you later. Until next time. This is... Goodbye.